Hey guys, Laurie from Shed3D here. Today we're going to make a short video about Poser Fusion. Poser Fusion is one of the latest implementation in Shed3D version 14.1.1. For those of you who are not very familiar with Poser, Poser is a 3D software that contains ready to post 3D models. We're going to see how to export a model from Poser to Shed3D using Poser Fusion. You're going to see it's very easy. We are now in Poser Pro. Let's open a 3D model. What about gems and why not gems casual? Here is my 3D model. As I don't only want to export a character, but also a little bit of an animation, I will move some of gems body parts along the timeline in order to obtain a short animation. Okay. As you can see, we have a short animation. Now let's save gems. We are going to name it gems. Let's keep it simple. And let's fire up Shed 3D. What you want to do is to click the view menu and scroll down to Puzzle Fusion. Here is a small pop-up that will allow you to open a Puzzle file. Please note that on the first time you will open Puzzle Fusion in Shed 3D, you will be asked to locate your Poser version in your computer. I've already done it before, so let's open GEMS. OK. Here is the model that I've selected in Poser Pro. And if I click the info icon here, by scrolling this bar, you will see that I've also exported my animation. In Poser Fusion, another very cool function is this update button. If I hit it right now, nothing happens. But if I go back to Poser Pro, and I change gem's position, and save it again, and go back to Shade 3D, by clicking the update button, my character will be automatically updated. You can also change some attributes, such as clothing elements, and add other objects to your scene. Piece of cake! So thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye bye.